Monday morning. He always stops in. One of the people that I don't want to say the name because people might not. Stops yep. in my office, does it every Monday morning. I had questions for him. As a dad, it relates to this so well. Came oh, yeah. in, he goes, Andy, can I talk? I said, for sure. He goes, how? And it was like I we were solving the, the world's problems yeah. here. I'm not being negative. I'm, yeah, he's yeah. a beauty. I love this guy. Yeah. How do I build my kid, son's confidence? He goes, I, I, I'm struggling with it right now. I said, okay, you're obviously talking on the ice. And he goes, yeah, on the ice, on the ice. He goes, like, not off the ice. I said, okay, great. I said, so I'm going to assume, only assume that he's not the top guy on your team. He goes, right. I said, okay. And you're trying to find things just to keep him pumped up or to make him feel better. He goes, yeah. So as you alluded to, most people go to the positive. And I, and I said this exact story to him. I said, the, the first thing you don't want to do is come up with bullshit. Because when a kid, we did a podcast about this. When a kid comes off the ice, he knows how he played. And, 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 and if, if he didn't, like, like, for example, one game in youth hockey, Charlie came off the ice and he had three goals. He didn't play a great game. So he came off. And if I was, if I was going to be a dad that's talked about hockey a lot and, and judged him all the time, he would have came off the ice. I would have said, you played a shit game. Or how did I play dad? And I would have said, today wasn't your best. But he came off the ice and he was going to the car and he goes, see those three goals, dad? And he was pumped. Well, I'm not going to piss on him. Right. Right? Yeah. And then I said, yeah, you got three goals, man. It's awesome. Like, high five. Then we got in the car. He goes, how come you don't seem pumped about my goals? I said, no, I'm fired up about your goals. He goes, yeah, but there's something wrong. I said, okay, you got three goals, but you, your whole, the rest of your game wasn't your best. I said, you, you're asking me. I, I got to be honest with you. Yeah. So he goes, I know. I go, okay, at least you know. So kid comes off the ice. He knows exactly how he played. And if he's not confident, you as a dad or a mom or friends or Grammys or whatever, saying you played so good, you play, worked so hard, they don't want to hear it. Because it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Right? If you get bullied at school and someone says, well, you're you're just as good as anyone else, that doesn't help them. <laughs> you know? It's, yep. I need a strategy. So being positive doesn't help, and nor nor does the opposite, being negative, saying, oh, if you, you should have, you need to be playing better, you 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 know, whatever. Saying the things that, that you should be. So I was saying that to my friend. I said, you, you have to come up with something that actually makes sense. And what makes sense is, you have to give him a strategy. And I said, with the strategy, you're going to give him confidence if you can actually give someone confidence. So I said, being, being a middle of the pack or maybe even the end of the, end of the, the lower end of the totem pole, I said, you got to give him basic, foundational, simple, simplicity. So he's a D. I said, so what, what's something that we can work on? Like, number one is just making crisp passes, like good passes, or just out of your zone. It's simple as it comes. Gets the puck, make sure it gets out of his own without icing. He goes, okay. Uh, he goes, yeah, he could do that. And I said, that's something you could work on. Like, that's something to focus on or work on. Uh, it could be ass to the middle. It could be whatever. I gave him three things, okay? Yeah. I said, try these three. Do those make sense? So he goes, yeah, absolutely. That makes total sense. I said, now, we talk to him and just say, you know what? If you do these three things, just work on these three things. Even one. doesn't matter. You just do one or three things well. It's not too much. And then as he starts working on that, he's actually going to get better. But let's just say he doesn't. Now he, when he's on the ice, he's got two, three things that he is working on that he's focused on. And if he does, like, as a parent, as a family, as friends, everybody's watching. And if you, if you communicate that with the people that care, and this, this boy gets the puck and, he, and he, you know, he comes around the net and he sees a winger or centerman and he puts it on the tape. That's not nothing. Right. That's a success. And that success needs to be celebrated. I know that for some people are going to say, yeah, I need to score goals. No, goals are not the important thing. They're going to come. Or they're not. Who yeah. cares? But there's a success. So he's got one success. So if that's, he did it once that game successfully. When he comes off the ice and he, you know, maybe his head's down or he's not sure. Or if you bring that up and say, son, the second period. That was you could tell you you could tell you've practiced or you're thinking about it. If you came across that net and you gave that uh, you know Johnny freaking boy a pass right on the tape and you guys got out of your zone, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. That helps that kid. Yep. Will he want to do it again? Got recognized for doing something well, and don't minimize it. It's huge because right. basically your foundational basic skills are what's going to get you anywhere, anyways. Yep. So you build on that kind of stuff. Yep. And that was, uh, anyways, at the end of it. 
he said to Andy, this is gold. How did you come up with this stuff? I said, it's just experience, man. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's kind of being the dad. But you could do this with anything. Anyways, so you could you you focus on one, two, three, two different things. And then what happens is you actually believe in yourself. Like if you do this for five games in a row and you're, you're making, instead of one pass a game, you're making five or you're, you're making better decisions. And all of a sudden, you know that you're playing better. Right. Not everybody else does because those are basic things. But now you know. And mom and dad and brother and sister, when they notice these things, if you if you say, "Hey, you done you've done that well, mm-hmm. great." And on the side note, you can still continue to work on your higher end skills, like your stick handling and your shooting and your skating and and those things, because everybody wants to be good and you need to be good at that. But the, but you can start with that basic stuff. Yeah, you're ready to go. Yeah, well, I just want to like put a pin in this because this is good. This is so. This is outside of like the specific things she's asking about, like specific yeah. situations. This yeah. is just like. Be a supportive person 101 right here. Like this is what this is. So as a parent or as uh, somebody who's in like a more of a, could be in more of like a mentor role, if you're a coach, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you're whatever to a kid, what you're doing is you're giving the kid like some direction on how they can measure their success. And that's an important thing to, uh, an important position to be in because you can either do something, give them metrics that are positive or you can give them metrics that are, are negative and don't really indicate yeah. what they're doing. So for like the general hockey person, how do you measure whether or not you were successful? Did you get points? Were you on the score sheet? Did you get a lot of ice time? Like those are the, those are the metrics that people without any real knowledge of the game will say, did you play well or not? Yeah. But those aren't useful because like you said with Charlie, you can get three goals and not play a great game. Maybe you're 100%. in the right place at the right time exactly. three times, right? Exactly. That says nothing about the the rest of your game how did you play in the greater because for those three moments maybe you were in the right spot but the rest of the game what were you doing and what you're doing if when you give someone you know three specific things that they can work on and it could be anything it doesn't have to be hockey it could be anything you're giving them like a defined way to judge whether whether or not they're doing well on a shift by shift basis so in in hockey you're not going to score every shift man you're not going to get a shot every shift. You might not touch the puck some shifts because yeah. that's just how the game goes. Yeah. But if you can say, okay, uh, are you stopping and starting your feet? That's a good thing to know because every shift you can measure that. Did I do that or not? Yeah. And for, for a lot of kids, like I specifically remember this. And when you, you laid this out the first time, it like rung for me so much because I didn't have that direction. I didn't have three things or like specific shift by shift things that I can, I could think of to see if I was doing well. And what you're doing is you're giving, you're defining what the kid can do because when you're a kid, you don't know what to do. And when I was, when I was in, even in junior, like I was still a kid, I don't, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing on the ice. I know. Like shift by shift. What are the main things based on how I play hockey that I need to be doing to make sure that I'm playing well, you know? And if I would have had that, that would have been so useful because then I don't feel so lost. And at the time I didn't feel like I was lost, but I was lost. I didn't know how to judge whether or not my performance was was going well or not outside of getting points. Yeah. That was the only metric I had. And points are points are are such a like unless you're a point guy getting paid for it or it's just such a not it's not the way you want to measure it. No, it's not useful. No. So like as a parent and people around you you want to pick out things that and and see if you minimize um blocking a shot, let's say Minutes, yeah, you blocked a shot. It's okay. No, that's it's huge. Can continue to block shots. I mean, people never get shots on that. If people minimize a skill like having your stick on someone else's on someone else's puck and just disrupting plays and knocking pucks away. So, like for for the person that was asking me, that was one of the things I said is just always have stick on puck when someone's coming on you and knock pucks away. And you keep tr- not not say you had seven, but you could say I think you had close to ten or more than ten times that you knocked a puck away from someone. You know how important that is for your team to go the other way? Exactly. It has nothing to do with scoring goals. Exactly. But what you've done is you helped your team and you're giving that kid, okay, this I'm going to do that even better now because I want my dad next game to say, no one gets around you anymore because you keep knocking pucks around. Yeah. And I want the guys on my team to notice that. And I want, I'm going to take pride in that. I'm going to know, okay, I'm going to take pride in a, a, a small thing that's a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Gonna, and, and now I got knocking pucks away, exit passes, clearing my zone. I'm actually good and effective. No one scores when I'm on yeah. the ice. Put me out, coach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's actually what happens. That's the snowball. That's actually yes. what happens. That's the snowball. Don't measure it in goals. Because yeah. like, like, 
if someone gets frustrated and, and I, you know, the kid that has, gets paid for goals or uh, the parents that put the value on scoring, when that kid doesn't know uh, score a goal in two, three games and he's on the schneid, you ever hear that one? Yeah. Sure, he's on the schneid. Yeah. <laughs> he's on the schneid. How do you fix it? Well, what are, what are most parents? Well, shoot pucks. You didn't practice enough. That's where it goes. Yeah. Go just take it to the net. Just do this. No, no, no. There's things that are going to get you your scoring opportunities, right? Yeah. So you that's why you have to do other things to get yeah. there. So, you know, if you're getting rewarded by goals, there will be a day where you're going to be very disappointed. Well, and especially as, as a defenseman, it's such a great example because it's like, how do you measure? Because defensemen normally aren't getting all these points. But, right. No, but so, they can be in on a lot of assists. Yeah, stuff, yeah, they can. Sure. But but if you can, as a defenseman, yeah, your primary job is not the points. Like the, it's the forwards' primary job to get the goals. And if you're a yeah. D that gets points and sets up plays and gets the yeah. second assist on a lot of things, that's yeah. that's fine. But that's clearly should not be the way that yeah. you're judging whether or not you played well, right? And because they don't, they're not supposed to be getting all the points. So when you spring that over to the forwards even though they're responsible for most of the goals, does it make sense that you're going to be taking away from, you know, the rest of your play because you can only right. score goals or whatever. And that's yeah. the only metric that you're using yeah. to judge whether or not you did well, you yeah. know, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Cause that's, there's way more to the game than the few moments where the puck happens to go in the net. Yeah. You know, no, 100%. there's way more to the game than that. Yeah. And for, so for Victoria asking the question too, something she mentioned in, in her comment was that she rides horses, yeah. right? That's something that she does. I think that's what she she said. She, she said, I think, I think, yeah, no, riding. No, uh, I'm assuming she rides horses. Show, uh, ri- show, show riding. Yeah, does show that mean horses? Or barrel ride. No. Yeah. That means horses. She's like she rides horses, oh, right? Or something like that. Cows. Yeah, maybe it's a cow. Yeah, no, it's horses. <laughs> Equestrian, so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can apply the same thing to that, what right? That? You can pick your three things. I know nothing about horse riding. I don't know anything about, but you can. I'm sure that there are game within the game type details that are what make or break whether or not you have a good ride or whatever the verbiage is that you guys use, right? So it's the same thing with that. Like you pick certain things that actually snowball into having a good overall performance in whatever it is you're doing.